What other options do we have? Another technique is the so-called wake. Woke. <laughs> wake back to bed. Please. Hello, here are Shiva and Jonathan again. Hi guys. Today we are making a video about lucid dreaming, right, about dreams in general. For that we chose the barmstones today. They are about 800 meters high. You may see them in the background sometimes, sometimes when we are not in the picture. The barmstones stand, you could say, are placed on a place of power. Very strong energies can be felt here and many legends weave all around, correctly. A lot of legends from portals that have been observed in which animals have disappeared or where have seen a strange lights and appearances of transparent silhouettes and therefore it may be a very delightful place to speak about the topic the lucid dreaming. Exactly. And then we'll start right away. There are five levels of dreaming. The dull dream, the pre-lucid dream, the lucid dream, there's also the high-level lucid dream and the Toltec dreaming. These five topics we'll discuss together. Let's start with what is lucid dreaming anyway? So lucid dreaming is the ability that you can recognize within a dream that you dream. The advantage is that as soon as you realize that you are dreaming, while dreaming, a very clear and distinct perception appears. Contrary to that, there is the dual dream. You know, these are the ordinary dreams you have. You dream and only when you wake up you remember that you have dreamed it. Exactly. Many don't remember in their dreams or rarely. But you can practice that. Alright. It is a matter of training. The dull dreams are the dreams that a person usually has. The dream exists only in your memory. A lucid dreamer, on the other hand, becomes aware of being in a dream and then the dream becomes the present. This is also comparable to everyday life. The everyday state is also constructed so that we can experience a dream as a present. The five stages of lucid dreaming, as Shiva has already mentioned, would be stage two after the dual dream, is the pre-lucid dream. So you know that you are dreaming, but you are not 100% aware of it. Exactly. You don't know you are actually laying in the bed and sleep, or you don't know right that you only dream halfway and the dream is not quite so clear how it might be, but already much clearer. But they can be very crystal clear and yet you don't know that you dream. Yes, that's true. The third stage would then be the lucid dream. You are in a lucid dream and aware that you are dreaming and actually laying in the bed and sleep. And so can create the reality of your dream. Exactly. Such people are called oneironauts or cybernauts. Those are the ones who are lucid and use dreaming to have really fun. There is a lot of flying or you summon your favorite partner for having a candlelight dinner and so on. And the nice thing about it is the creativity that you can dream of. You can just do everything, meet every person, you can create every object, you can go anywhere you want and of course very attractive. One can also learn many things, that's right. 
You can learn, for example, how your own thoughts become reality. This may include the moment in which you might be scared for a moment or have concerns, like in a prelucid dream. That would still be possible and there it may well be if you fear of werewolves has immediately the effect that one comes around the next corner. Fears can desire in your dreams creates reality and therefore it is also important that you come up from the pre-lucid dream into the lucid dream. Because there you no longer need to fear to have you are the absolute creator of your environment and of course that means that you don't have to be afraid. The fourth stage of the five dreaming stage will then be the high level lucid dream. There will the dream so real that it has much more qualitative than even your everyday reality. Imagine it like Blu-ray. Yes, even clearer actually. Right. Like HD Ultra 4K screen, so to say. And so clear and realistic that you can confuse it with the regular all day reality. Well, I think the picture quality is so much clearer and razor sharp, normal reality cannot do that. The fifth level is the Toltec dreaming. You take your physical body with you into the dream. Correctly. That means you actually detach yourself from the physical reality and go to the dream side of reality, so to speak. Then is it like teleporting? Yes. Teleporting should then also be possible because you can change from the all day reality to the dream reality with your physical body then you disappear from the physical reality, maybe then you walk 100 meters further and then dives back on. That would be one example for a short teleportation process. You're actually changing from that physical reality to the left side. Yes. With your body. Yeah. Like Castaneda told about. Yes. But then you are no longer in this reality. Then that's not a teleportation in itself, because teleporting would be in this reality of a place over there. It's getting fresh. That's true. But is in an alternative reality probably not that cold yet. That's right. It could be a little bit warmer here. Why are we always looking for the alternative reality in which it is so cold? I don't know. I really don't know. Well, alternative realities are actually realities that exist next to us practically. Exactly. Actually, alternative realities contain rejected decisions in life. That means the subconscious hits not the difference we make, namely when we face an important decision and on our way you want to go left or right and you are not sure yet and you decide at some point maybe that you go to the right, the subconscious mind looks at both paths that exist as the same and also last one could say both ways are rated the same. Imagine you have the idea that you want to move to Germany or to England. You do not know. You deceive yourself for England. But an alternative version of you then just moves to Germany. Exactly. The reality then exists further, just next to yours, where you live in England. Good thing, there are very near realities right now. There are also right here. Are the realities where Shiva and Jonathan sit maybe three meters further left. Exactly. So, meticulous alternative realities that only make a slight difference because you have maybe think about to sit left or right, to sit down to make a video. Those exist now here, two Jonathan and two Shivas at the same time. One on the left side of the path and the other ones on the right side of the path. You can observe that very well in your dreams. For example, I have seen recently many alternative realities directly next to mine, certainly three or four, which all did about the same thing 
I don't want to go into that any further <laughs> but now what they did with these realities. However, they all did the same thing. I saw that I was asleep. The alternative selves have also slept or at some point and I woke up and it was so real that I thought I was really awake. I agree. So alternative realities can exist for far away or very close to you. And in dull dreams you often perceive that you see yourself in a dream and experience something but actually you are not really you but an alternative version of your reality. Just your consciousness shifts to the self of this reality. Yes, so we dock at night with our consciousness to these alternative selves and then we experience the reality of the alternative selves. In this way a huge network of realities is created that are close together or not and we visit them in our dream realities and win insights about certain decisions we have chosen and can see what consequences our decisions have. So now we are going to tell you a little bit about dream techniques. We tell you how you can remember better your dreams because many of you can hardly remember and wake up in the morning thinking what did I dream of? Increasing the dream memory is easy and not that difficult. First of all, we naturally have to desire have the desire or the will to do so. The simplest technique is actually when you wake up in the morning that you stay completely still, don't move at all, do not open your eyes and first of all ask yourself what has just happened, what did I do, what did I dream. And in this way the first dream images come in and once you have access to one dream memory it can also be simple just be a picture then it's often enough that you will remember your dream. You remember what you have just dreamed a minute ago. Another option is when you go to bed in the evening that you suggest what you like to dream and above all that you guys suggest I remember tomorrow morning my dream. Another technique is the WBTB technique that means wake back to bed. That means you actually lay down in the evening in bed, sleep three to four hours maybe, set your alarm clock and then you stand up for a half an hour and after this you lay down again. This gives the body already two maybe three sleeping phases going through these sleep phases. The best is if it were in the end or in the middle of the last sleeping phase, so during the REM phase, because if you get back in there when you go to bed you practically dive straight into lucid dreaming, right, because the body already has two to three sleep phases and those you go after the sleep break of 30 minutes much more awake and more attentive into dreaming. The advantage is obvious because in being much more attentive to the next sleep phase you can remember your dreams much better. Then maybe very helpful are so-called memory booster. They are nutritional supplements that you can take maybe half an hour after the wake phase. This can tune your brain a little to be able to remember your dreams much better. That would be choline for example, irene choline or choline beet bitetrate, L-theanine, L-tryptophan, tryptophan and hubersane A. This dietary supplement will help to help you remember better. Of course there is always a possibility to use suggestions too. Just say I remember, I remember all my dreams or as soon as I dream I recognize that I dream and you do that as long until you fall asleep. It must be the last thought with you while falling asleep. And with this help of dietary supplements, of course you can also work without dietary supplements, that will also work, but faster you have success with these supplements. 
And L-theanine is also very good for the hypnagogue state. That is a state in the higher awareness with a lot of knowledge you can get. Give it a try. Yes, L-theanine supports the alpha waves of your brain, the state between waking and sleeping, and that helps you even in some cases to fall directly into a dream, with your awareness that you dream. So, we have given a little insight into the big field about dreaming now. There is so much more to say, of course, much more details. You can still tell a lot of more about lucid dreaming and we hope that you have got a little more insight. We are glad that you watched our video and to see you soon again. All the best to you, good luck, bye, ciao.